Hey, welcome back guys, it's Radic here. As you can see, I have upgraded from the Rock GC hand grinder to uh, the Chiado E6P Time Dose Grinder. And today what I'm going to talk to you about is tell you all the things that I love about this, the things that I don't love about it, and why I decided to opt into this particular grinder over some of the competition like the Eureka Mignon line. So stay tuned and uh, let's get started. So. The first time I saw this grinder in person was at a local espresso shop um, and right away I could tell that it was very very solid so that's kind of what got me interested in the Chiado lineup. Um, it's um, a full kind of aluminum casing, it feels very sturdy, very solid, it's got a nice sleek black uh, exterior um, and what I loved about it was the, the upper big dosing ring that it had. Um, and so that was one of the big things that kind of drew me into Chiado. Um, as I kind of read up about it, I, did, I found out that uh, this particular grinder had a 64 millimeter burr, uh, 300 watt motor, so a very big and durable motor. Um, it span around, it's, I think it spins around something like uh, 1300 to 1600 RPM. Um, and uh, it felt very solid and very sturdy. So um, being a flat burr grinder with a bigger burr set, uh, it helped with the speed of grinding uh, and with consistency. And having a bigger motor meant that the grinder was going to be probably more durable for the long term. Now the great thing about this grinder also that uh, having a big aluminum case and having a, a nice solid build with very little plastic, it actually means that it's quite quiet. Um, and even putting beans through it, it, it is much quieter than I expected. Um, and we'll do maybe a, um, a noise a decibel test to see how loud it actually is. There should be plenty out there, um, but it is fairly quiet even when it's just turned on. It's, uh, you can't hear anything. The motor's um, very, very, very quiet. Um, the other thing I like about this um, was the touchscreen display on this particular grinder versus something like the Mini Online. Um, when I played around with the Mignon, I noticed that when you push on it, the liquid crystal would actually kind of, you could see that it would wave and um, it would kind of disappear and reappear. Um, and I didn't, but it didn't feel like a, like a long-term durable type of uh, display. Um, so I was worried about, you know, the Mignon being, um, you know, uh, eventually kind of uh, breaking or something like that. This display here, this is a touch screen, it's encased in a, I believe this is a hard plastic, but the actual display doesn't, you don't touch the actual display that shows you the, the pixels. The buttons on here are non-push, they're touch, um, and they feel much more, it feels like it's a much more durable um, take on the, the touch screen display here. The other thing that I really liked about this grinder uh, was that it had a big uh, dosing dial which is kind of nice if you kind of want to make some fine adjustments. Um, what I found out about this though is that uh, it still requires very fine movements. Um, so something like some, some of the higher uh, Chiado grinders that have the, the um, worm, worm drive uh, adjustments look like a, maybe a little bit more precision with that. Um, this becomes a bit difficult when you're dialing in espresso because it is actually quite challenging to dial in espresso with this grinder. Small movements can make a big difference in your, in your extraction times. So I'd say that's probably one of the downfalls. Um, the other thing about this grinder which is a little bit, uh, um, was a little bit maybe uh, a, a cause of the difficulty with dialing in, it does retain quite a bit of grounds. Um, there are some, uh, lots of forms that talk about this. Uh, when I pulled the grinder apart, I was actually quite shocked at how much um, uh, as, like grounds there are within the chain, within the uh, burrs. Uh, it actually forms like almost like a little ring uh, at the top of the bur at the top of the top burr. Um, however, they've managed to address this with a single dose, uh, which has a, a ring that kind of sits in there. Um, and so I've ordered one of those to kind of mitigate that, which hopefully will reduce the retention. The other places where it kind of retains uh, some beans is through the ground chute. There's a bit of like a declumper type of uh, uh, mechanism. It's like a flap, but the flap uh, can hold the, the espresso beans behind it. Um, so it will retain some beans. I've seen people online kind of take care of that issue by just simply taking the flap off. Um, what I've done is I've just kind of cut out a bit of a, like an hourglass shape 
That way it doesn't retain very many beans, but it still functions to declump your grounds. So that's another thing that I've kind of managed to do to help with the problem. Um, but the ground, the grinder is one very quiet. It seems very durable. It feels really solid. Um, the display feels good to touch. It's responsive and uh, it's very quick as well. Um, again, the challenge is being that it is kind of more challenging to dial in, uh, but I'm hoping that uh, the, the ring insert will alleviate that. And uh, yeah, so that's the Chiado. Uh, so far, so good. The grounds come out. Initially, when I first got it, they were a little bit clumpy, but now over the last week, um, as I've kind of ran some beans through it, the grounds come out uh, very, very consistent uh, with very little clumping, which is a really nice positive. So yeah. Overall, so far so good. I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, the ring does and I'll make a, a small video on that. All right, well, why don't we start uh, and just pull a quick shot here.